Hey everybody, welcome again to Wingman Nation where you're always welcome to join us around our virtual campfire where we try and encourage people to be the best wingman or best wing woman possible, to always tell the truth, to try and be as respectful and kind as you can, especially if someone doesn't want to hear the truth, and to always, always accept as much responsibility as possible, especially when things go wrong. So, Thank you for joining me for what I hope will be viewed as a positive video today. Yeah, positive and one of encouragement. A special shout out today to my friend Cannon Combs and his team at his nine RV station dealerships from Texas to Oklahoma. RV station carries <laughs> almost every brand of towable and motorized RV made. And when they say they want every customer to have a five star experience, they mean it. They really do. You can connect with RV Station and other dealers I recommend if you look down in the description below. All right, I want you to think about this. I think that there are many of us who, no matter how well we plan the perfect trip, no matter how well we do it, things end up going sideways, right? I mean, the truth is we all strive for flawless trips where everything goes as planned. But more often than not, life, and sometimes the life of your RV, has other plans, doesn't it? Well, today, I have a story that beautifully, beautifully illustrates why striving for perfection might not be the best approach. A better approach might be to try and find joy in the journey. Yeah, it's easy to say hard to do. Joy in the journey, no matter how many bumps and detours come your way. So. Sit back, relax, and get ready to discover why sometimes the most memorable adventures are the ones that don't go according to plan. Up now is a simple story about, get this, a leaky bucket, a leaky bucket that just might change the way you look at your next camping trip. Once upon a time in a quiet village, there was a boy named Jack. People admired him because he never gave up on things. But deep down, Jack wasn't happy. He always felt like something was missing no matter how hard he tried. Feeling tired of this constant unhappiness, Jack decided to talk to an old man named William. William was known for being very wise and for explaining things in a simple and funny way. Jack hoped that William could help him figure out how to feel better. So Jack went to visit William, who lived on the edge of the forest hoping to learn how to be truly happy. So one sunny morning, Jack went to the old sage's house with a sad face. He told the sage why he came. Sir, I'm here because I'm tired of working so hard for everything and never feeling happy. I want to know how to be happy. With a gentle smile, the sage replied, Sure, I can help you. But first, you must do a simple task. For one week, take this wooden bucket to the river, walk down that deserted road and bring water to this well. But there's a catch. The bucket is leaking. Curious but excited to learn from the sage, Jack agreed to the challenge. So, every morning in the blazing summer heat, Jack filled the bucket with water and headed towards William's well. As he noticed the water leaking out, he felt frustrated. But because he was determined to complete his task, he kept going, even though he reached the well with hardly any water left. At the end of the week, when Jack arrived with the last bucket of water, feeling a bit disappointed that he couldn't fill the well and thinking he had failed, he expected William to be disappointed too. However, William greeted him with a warm smile, saying he had done a great job. Jack was confused and asked how he could have done well when the well was almost empty. With all his wisdom, William explained, My young friend, take a look back at the path you walked with the bucket all week. Remember how barren and ugly it was, just dirt as far as the eye could see, like a desert. And now, because of the water you spilled along the way, Look how life has come back. It's blooming again. Life is like this bucket. We all have imperfections and flaws, just like the holes in the bucket. But that doesn't mean we should give up. To find happiness and peace, it's not just about fixing flaws or reaching final goals, but about appreciating and valuing the journey and making the most of the path we've traveled. So what'd you think? Wasn't that a nice story? And it illustrates, I believe, how something like that leaky bucket can be, well, it can teach us some profound lessons about life and happiness, right? Like Jack's journey with that leaky bucket, trips with your RV, <laughs> with your RV might not always turn out as you hoped, but that doesn't mean that we can't create some great memories. I found that some of my favorite stories came from those busted trips, 
and that's a fact. The ones that went sideways, like the 85 quarts of oil that I went through in my car on my vacation a couple of months back. It was not fun at the time. No, it wasn't. But we made it through, and today, well, today we laugh about it. Whether it is a, a surprise rainstorm or a breakdown or a sudden change of plans, remember, it's those imperfections that make our experiences unforgettable. It is, and they make life just a little bit sweeter. I know that I do my share of bringing up things that may seem to be more negative than positive, but I'm hopeful that today's video is one that will make you pause, just for a second, pause and reflect. So whatever lies in your future, I hope that you'll try and embrace the journey, as they say. Cherish the moments. Focus on the people around you. The truth is, it's really not about achieving perfection. It's about enjoying the adventure, as they say, and making the most of every bump in the road. Let me know what you thought of today's video and make sure to share your own <laughs> unexpected travel stories in the comments below. And let's celebrate this real magic of the journey together. Until next time, I'm the RV Wingman, hoping that you'll be the best wingman or wingwoman possible. And I'll see you again real soon here on Wingman Nation. Bye-bye.